Michael Jackson exhibited in Paris. The star who passed away in 2009 became the subject of an exhibition in the Grand Palais where we discover 40 works of art by contemporary artists dedicated to the King of Pop, a new vision of the cultural and fashion icon. It's clear that by gathering all his work in one place, different styles of work by artists from different origins, we see a codification that passes through his look, including his haircut, his clothes and his shoes, which creates new codes that define him. For example, with the work of art using a pair of black moccasins with a white sole to evoke the famous white sock, which he always wore with his moccasins. With just one look at these moccasins, we immediately recognise Michael Jackson. Very few people could be recognised from such little detail. It's true that these portraits also allow us to take a step back, and these artists have this intelligence to find new ways of evoking Michael Jackson through poetic resources. Looking through the exhibition, we see Michael Jackson's style still has a huge cultural impact today. Hugo Boss, one of the sponsors of the exposition, realised three exclusive t-shirts, as well as reproducing the famous white suit worn by Michael Jackson on the cover of Thriller. Olivier Roustan, Balmain's artistic director, shows the immense influence the star has had on the latest men's collection. I've always said that music is important, even more so today, because Michael Jackson has always been a role model for me, both his rhythm and his aura, his charisma and his lyrics. I grew up with black or white, and when you're a mixed race child that was born in the 80s, you always wonder, where did I come from? And do I have legitimacy or an identity today? There are people who have pushed the boundaries of these questions, and he was one of them.